end of the first season, yes. Bruce may have found a back cave. May have done. Are there secrets of Thomas Wayne's that Alfred has been keeping to himself? That's a very good question, actually. You know, it's funny because I, you always have your own theory, you have your own sort of sub subtextual approach to everything. Um, I had a very definite idea, and I was completely wrong. So it was, it was, in, it's, it's interesting. I love the way that our showrunners like Bruno and Danny and John and Stevens are also here. They write because they write from a psychological approach, and um, it, 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 it sort of unravels like a, it peels like an onion often. And you feel that you're being rather marvellous in doing your job and reaching these huge exclamation marks or bullet points. But actually, it's the gentle guiding hand and the brilliance of our showrunners that push us there. But they give us that, that moment to think that we've got there on our own. So, so but uh, yeah, it's a, a marked change, the discovery of the, of the, um, the well, you kind of know what it is, but I mean, it's the beginning, it's the, the Wayne Cave, or the Man Cave even, perhaps. <laughs> we've, we've been told that you know, we're going to see Bruce start to take steps towards his Batman role later on in the season. Where does your Alfred fall on it? Is he supportive? Is he dead against it? Can you give us a sense it's of where like he's going to I'll give you a sense. Of, there's a, a marked change. You've got to break up to come back together again in respect. He's got to accept that Bruce is an extremely driven and intelligent man, and that he is a man. He's grown into a man. I have a son called Alfred, the same age as him, and they, it's, it's difficult. And it, you know, there's no prior experience in growing up before. So they, 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 there is a, a slight, there's harsh words early on, but they, they basically, it's more contractual, and I think that you'll start to notice that there is a more of a genuine parental love as well as a, as a sense of guidance and a mutual respect for each of them. It is a dysfunctional family, but it, nevertheless it is a family. So there's a lot more love. And, you know, it was reckless of um, Alfred last season to do things, I think, after being stabbed, he questions his own mortality. He realises the import of him actually being there. To follow that is pursue their like oath and go to Thomas Wayne. But it'd be irresponsible for him to die. So he's got to stick around, and he knows that. But he gets it wrong, he's fallible. He's brash, he's fallible, but they, there's a, a mutual acceptance that he'll start to. There's more of a partnership. And I'm, I'm pleased to say that we've got another good guy joining our ranks in the shape of the brilliant Bruce's uh, 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 Fox, who is the science, the scientific sort of entrepreneur from Wayne Enterprise. So he's starting to build a team of professional good guys. And as I said, there's a few more of us. This boy does the city need it because it basically it burns. It, 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 the wheels fall off. But it, it's actually called them, I think I remember saying earlier on that it's the, um, it's the subhead in the, the second season as well as the villains. Because it, the descent after the, sort of the, the, um, the control that the mob bosses had after the death of the Waynes leading to the mob bosses, it now descends into utter chaos. And it's a very dangerous place. Because you know, you've got to get it, you know, you've got to make nothing burn from the ashes, rises, the phoenix, that man, you know, you've got to get that. But it's a long, bumpy, violent journey on the way down. I mean, you know, I've read it for four episodes now, and there's a marked change in the pace of it. It's um, because the characters are always still slightly more now, but uh, there's a more, it's more confident, it's less standalone, like it was last season, and it's more of a drama. <laughs> it really is, and the first two are just the first three are How many have you shot so far? We want to, we can start to, uh, we're going to hold them through to, I think we finish, I finish off two on the um, matches that went to next week, and they start to three. And how many scripts have you written? Um, I'm up to script four. Yeah, and they, they, they are fantastic. You see, it's funny because they, they, they've reduced in numbers of pages, but they've increased so much more in, in character. Because we're doing like eight, nine page scenes. So, you know, everyone knows, you know, it's getting a little bit dull, so you can't see most of it. A little bit, we've been stuck in the room. But it's, it's an expansion for from, from, from everyone. It's the way, it really is the way that the city molds people and changes them. So you'll see Alfred change, you'll see Bruce change, you'll see Gordon change, for the, for the good and for the better, right the way through the season. So it's, it's, uh, we're all really super excited. And I'm really not just saying that.
phenomenally good. Can we hear more backstory about Alfred, like who he's been in the past? Yes, yeah, so you'll start to you'll start to see, you'll start to experience his um, philanthropic skills out on the street. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, you never know where you're going. And I think that's what he uses. He's, he uses his language to confuse people. He uses that as a sort of weapon in many respects. Uh, and uh, we, we, you'll see some of that. You'll see, you'll see a lot more, you'll see a lot more of the training of the house to as well. So you'll see what he's capable of. You know, it's, it's, it's a great coming together of the two characters.